All right, guys, so this is our push day, Monday, uh, chest day. We're gonna do a bunch of chest and a bunch of triceps, basically. So I'm gonna show you laying on the floor. If you have a bench or somewhere that you can lay on and do that, you can do that as well. I'm just gonna show you on the floor for those of us that don't have one. You can do it on the floor, on a bench, anywhere that you can lay nice and flat and is stable, okay? So our first movement is a chest press, all right? So when I'm on the floor, I engage my core by pressing my lower back into the floor. There's no arch there. I'm gonna come elbows up at shoulder height, hover them right above the floor, knuckles are turned up to ceiling, and I'm gonna press straight up, okay? Notice I'm not pressing and squeezing together at the top. I'm pressing straight up like this, all right? So chest press. Your next movement is going to be a chest fly. You're just gonna stay right here in the same position or on your bench. I'm gonna start with my weights touching each other at the top. I'm gonna open nice and wide and hover right above the floor. Don't let those elbows hit the floor. And then when I squeeze up, I wanna think about bringing my arms together versus bringing the weights together. Okay, so I'm wide and I wanna squeeze like I'm trying to bring those arms together open it back up and squeeze like I'm trying to bring those arms together, okay? That's your chest fly. Our next one is a tricep kick to a narrow press, okay? On the floor or on the bench, I'm gonna start with my weights up right here. I'm gonna bend so that the head of the weight comes to my shoulder. My elbows are pointed up at the ceiling. They're not down here, okay? So I'm right here. Then I'm gonna kick the weight up I'm gonna squeeze my elbows down into my ribs so it's nice and tight, and then I'm gonna press straight up into a narrow press, okay? So it's tricep, kick, drop down, narrow press. Tricep, kick, drop down, narrow press, okay? That's movement number three. Number four is push-ups. All right, push-ups. We do military or tricep push-ups. So, if you haven't done these before, the best way to start is to lay flat on the floor, put your hands right next to your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades back and together, lock those elbows back, abs in nice and tight, and I want you to push like you're trying to screw the palms of your hands into the floor. So push the palms into the floor, push yourself up, keep those elbows tight to your body when you lower down, okay? So you can push all the way up or you can do it from your knees. All right, we just wanna make sure those elbows are straight back like that. Okay, so pick your level, whether you're on your toes or your knees, or if you're new and those are tough, you can just lay on the floor and push all the way up, okay? You can lay all the way down and then just push up and you can lay it all the way back down to the floor, okay? Just work at your level. So you got push-ups. Then we've got tricep dips. I'm gonna use a chair. Again, if you've got a bench or something else um, around you that's super sturdy to use, feel free to use that. I'm just gonna use a chair because most of us all have a chair. So I'm gonna sit on the chair. I'm gonna put my hands real tight to my butt. I'm gonna make sure my fingers are facing forward, not out to the side, right here. I'm gonna walk it out. I wanna keep my butt tight to the bench so that I lower straight down. A lot of people, you'll see them come out here and that puts a whole lot of pressure on that shoulder joint, okay? So keep your rear tight to the bench. Right here, shoulders are back, abs are tight. Make sure I'm bending with the elbows to lower down. I'm not just dropping my butt, okay? So shoulders back, right here, tricep dip. The further my feet are out, the harder the tricep dip. So pick your level, just make sure it's challenging, but your tricep dip. And then we have plank jack push-up. This is your finisher and your arm should be done after you've done this. This should just completely finish you out. If it didn't, next time you do it, you need to use heavier weights, okay? So what you're gonna do is come right here and you're going to plank jack push-up. Plank jack push-up. Again, you could plank jack, come to the knees and do your push-up, okay? Just work at your level and make sure you're working to challenge yourself. That is your chest and tricep day.